Ah! Oh, Jacob, Evie, it's you. Thank goodness. Experimenting, are we, Alec? Correct. And looking a bit frazzled. Nerves. It's those great oafs Starrett keeps sending around to coax me. He is offering a ridiculous amount of money. Alec, you're not thinking of jumping ship, are you? Never. I've been working in something in case they get too insistent. Uh, it's meant to stun an assailant, should they need a rise. Are you certain that it works? Uh, not as such. I I've made three of them with varying degrees of acidity and whatnot. Oh, one must be the right formula. Let's find some steric lackeys to target then, shall we? <laughs> Speaking of steric, he is still transmitting false information. We could simply destroy his transmitters. His company's too well guarded. And the bombs will help, but it would be awkward to produce bombs that potentially do not stun. Oh, wait a minute. Looks like opportunity has come knocking. Oh, dear. They never looked so angry before. Stand clear, Alec. Let us instead play a little linguistic game with them. Um, take the bombs and climb onto the roof. Uh, when I see the name of uh, a fruit, Toss one near the thugs. Right then. Oh, uh, oh wait, uh, I nearly forgot. Um, slip these into your boots and you will henceforth be immune to all voltaic discharge. I think. Good day, gentlemen. Oh, I, I would ask you in for tea, but I'm afraid I'm running rather late. Enough of the nice teas. We've come to smash your place up, in we best. You got one of them telling what's it's in here, ain't ya? <laughs> messages from the steric company. <laughs> that is as untrue as the notion that the steric <laughs> telegraph company is emitting impartial information. So come again. Your employer's but <laughs> his operations are about to turn pear shaped. <laughs> Alex got a sense of humor, has he? I'll tickle him till his sides start splitting. What's he going on about air and pairs for? You had the mental agility of a dollop of donkey's apples. <laughs> apples? I think he's trying to be funny. Whoa! Dropped another one, Bill. You were a sod. Rascals throwing stink bombs again. It happens all the time around here. Right. Tell us where you keep that telly what's it. I'll count to three. Three? Well, well. Let's see how far you get. Do you really think I would keep it here? Do you see a cable? A telegraph without a cable is about as useful as a bell without a clapper. I'll give you a bleeding clapper. Well, bless my boots, you're as purple as a plum. <laughs> Shock, my dear fellow. But what'd you say? Good show, Alec. Leaving. Thanks to you, Evie. Your mere presence gave me courage and resolve I never knew I had. I'm glad I could help. Now it's time to shut down Stark's empire of propaganda. Come on, 
Fine, we haven't got all day. The longer we can keep Static from spewing out work. false information, the more we can get the people with the truth about his operations. I agree. The sooner we can get there, the quicker we can act. Would you believe my mother says there are still some wives in her street that swear by that soothing stuff? So I took it upon myself to tell my neighbours the truth about the obnoxious draft. That's good, Alec. But you can't go round to every household in London town. No, I wasn't always welcome. It shows how false information can be as difficult to stamp out as fish wives and vanities at Billings Or firm in its But if we can eradicate a source that continually feeds such detrimental traffic, then little by little the truth will take the upper hand and the sham will be flushed out. That's why we're here. We will have to get in without being detected mind. I shall stand there while you get inside. I shall destroy not one, but a few parts of the transmitter. You'll be as good as dancing before a public toilet if you're ready. Once again, an order for supporting what is most dear to me and to our cause, freedom of speech. It's a blessing that you employ your genius for the common good, Alec. However, I suggest you vacate your workshop. No need. Not now you've given me sacks full of courage. And besides, what with my little devices, I have all the protection I need. Uh, should you find yourselves with a moment to spare, do drop by. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Miss Fry, what a pleasant surprise. Hello, Clara. 
I was just going to check on Lambert since the asylum's closing. What brings you here? The children in my care have been falling ill. A usual tonics aren't working. A cane, too. <laughs> Are you certain you're feeling all right? Of course. I am, miss. Clara! Is there a doctor nearby? Bring her inside. She simply collapsed. Yes, she said the others took tonic, but it didn't work. I should think not. Ever since Elliotson was murdered, the district has been overrun with counterfeit tonics. <laughs> this one needs proper care. But without the appropriate medication, she and the others will quickly decline. What do you need? I need supplies. Plenty of them. And medicine. Some of the less common ingredients are being stolen and sold at auction. I'd be happy to help. Here's the list. Miss Fry. Evie Fry. I'm Miss Nightingale. How do you do? Please hurry. We don't have much time. I can't thank you enough. These supplies are meant for Miss Nightingale. I'm here to collect them. And they're already loaded on the cart. Please take them. Get up! You mean that card? Yes. Of course it is. Please be careful. Some of those items are fragile.
gotta go. Not a moment too soon. I hope it brought the medication I requested. How is she? She will recover. Papalonelli, the children. Thanks to you, we can distribute authentic medicine now. But is that a permanent solution? I will petition to have regulations put in place. Lambeth is in your debt. It takes a long time to change things. But I'm not going anywhere, Miss Fry.